This is the third plate on Roman Catholicism. Uh, this is a religion that looks and feels and smells like what you think Christianity should be or is. It is far from it. How obvious can you get? This is the Jesuit um, uh, church. Uh, you can see the names of the uh, original Jesuits and the names of these families that are represented. Farnese is one. And you saw that uh, Pentagon uh, Palace uh, earlier on in architecture. You have here Rome representing herself. Look at with the cross and what is she doing to people? She's destroying people. And she's done that throughout history. This is the Reformation uh, and is a depiction of Rome by the reformers. And look, she's scarlet colored, riding this beast. She has the triple tiara, the harlot. Uh, in Revelation 17, you can read all about that. This is Rome's description of herself, meaning that Rome painted this picture uh, describing herself. And look at, she's dressed in scarlet. She has a cup, uh, and you can read all about that in Revelation 18, the mother of harlots, and she's being crowned with the triple tiara here. So they are representing themselves. Open your eyes. If you're a non-believer, realize that Catholicism is not Christianity, and that if you are a believer, Christian believer, then realize that Rome is, again, not Christianity. Look at the crests, papal crests in Rome, uh, in, in the Vatican. And you can see that dragon being represented. We have now the Vatican Gardens, the Twin Towers here, Watchtowers. You saw that uh, in um, Charles Taze Russell and the Jehovah's Witnesses. There's a fountain here with a dragon. I hope somebody can give me a better picture of this uh, fountain with a dragon. This is Gregorio, a pope, and the dragon is on the tomb. Why would in the world would you want that which represents Satan and the devil guarding your tomb? Unbelievable. Here's papal coins. Look at the cockatrice, which is the bird and the dragon now biting the tail. Whether or not this is a goat uh, or ram, they like to play games with people, and it should be supremely obvious. Here's Jupiter or Peter now conquering the world in the name of God, and he's saint, of course, and look at what they do. Use the same Venus Columba uh, with the uh, sun rays on coins and we should know better look at what they do and they kill people in the name of God coming with the sword crusades we should have the gospel of peace our feet should have uh, should be shod with the gospel of peace here's Rosicrucian order you can see that Egyptian motif the rosy cross is what they like to use now you see the double-headed eagle back there and its roots in Roman Catholicism you hear, you know, this order was involved in mind control. And we see that today. Sirhan Sirhan was a Rosicrucian. You can look this up and understand that Jesuitism has been involved with the CIA, KGB, all of that underground stuff. They did all of this remote viewing, all of this, this technology and uh, human... Uh, uh, guinea pigs and science going on. This is all rooted even in religion and demonic activity. Please understand that. We're going to get into some of this later. Mind control and satanic ritual abuse and uh, the possibility, the whole cold possibility that a lot of the people that we see on stage uh, have been uh, trained up in this fashion. This is um, the Georgia Guidestones. You can read about this New World Order thing. They have even commandments here in various languages, and they also have um, uh, R.C. Christian is the uh, supposed donor for all of this. R.C. I think represents uh, Rosicrucian, uh, and then uh, supposedly a Christian, so that's an, uh, a false name uh, alluding to Rosicrucianism. Now look at again, double-headed eagles in churches, moving along, and you, we saw this image before, double-headed eagles. Look at even the elements, the square and compass back there. All of that occult reference. Knights of Columbus. This is now a secret society uh, founded by Catholicism. So what they do, this is an example of what they do. They uh, uh, separate themselves from the organization they uh, invent, which is Freemasonry and Gnosticism and Knights Templar and all of this stuff. And then they 
go ahead and form their own secret society organization, which has degrees and have secrets. Uh, here's uh, the Maltese Cross and the Knights of Columbus. You see George W. Bush, I believe, uh, uh, what's it, uh, Jeb Bush is a Knight of Columbus. All these secret societies are intertwined. Um, and you see Skull and Bones. I actually asked a Knight of Columbus uh, uh, what these, this, I showed him this picture and what the skull and crossbones meant to him. Uh, it is our fallen comrades. And so we uh, adore them. Um, so it's sort of necro necromancy going on, meaning that they're worshiping their fallen comrades or commemorating them. Here's the Skull and Bones in the Vatican. Skull and Bones on ro uh, 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 crucifixes and rosaries, skull and bones everywhere. This is Eastern Orthodox, which is an offshoot of Roman Catholicism. Moving along, skull and crossbones, or skull and bones. Skeletons, look, skull worship. This is what they do, it's necromancy. We should understand this fully. Necromancy. Worship of the dead. Now, really, are these all their fallen comrades that they haven't buried? These are the people, in fact, that they've killed in the name of God. And these are the priests uh, and the Jesuits that actually killed all these. And look at the decoration they do. This is sick. Sickness. Here is the Jesuits logo. Made of skulls and bones. Here's the coffin of the uh, Pope and the skull and crossbone at the base of the cross, with the papal crest. They have, they're sick. Pope's exorcist confesses devil lives in the Vatican. Can it be any more clearer? Vatican reasserts Catholic Church is the one true church of Christ. He is called the vicar of Christ here and everybody worships and adores him, calls him father. The Bible says, call no man your father. And so all of these priests are called father. This is abomination stuff. Uh, the aliens should be regarded as our brothers, Pope Benedict. I haven't attributed this uh, yet, uh, but there is uh, the Vatican astronomer that um, uh, uh, says that uh, alludes to aliens and saying that they would evangelize or uh, convert or baptize aliens actually is what he said. So look that up and see what they do on a grand scale.